Good morning, everybody. Sam Dog, the infamous 253, coming at you guys with some uh, free agency news. I just heard a little bit earlier as I was waking up this morning. Uh, the uh, Detroit Lions are signing former Super Bowl 48 and Seahawks wide receiver and former New York Jets wide receiver Jermaine Curse to a one year, $1.35 million deal. So now Jermaine Curse is officially a member of the Detroit Lions. And that will be reuniting him with uh, our former offensive coordinator, Daryl Bevel, and putting him with Matt Stafford as his quarterback now. So, as I remember, Jermaine Kurtz is more remembered for making a couple, making a few big plays for the Seattle Seahawks. I remember when he came in to us in 2012, and then, I mean, even though he's undrafted free agent and didn't wasn't really doing much on until he got his big opportunity in 2013 when he caught that game-winning catch against the uh, Carolina Panthers and started making some plays, but. I mean, Curse had some great had some great plays for us too. I mean, he had two of the biggest catches in Seahawks history, which I happened to be there for both those for uh, both those catches, and I was even there for the third one, which you know we all know how that ended in Super Bowl Forty Nine. Which if we didn't if if we had not passed on the one yard line, that could have been you know complete difference maker because I was at Super Bowl Forty Nine too. But I was there for his big catch on fourth and seven in the NFC Championship game in two thousand thirteen year where he caught it on the 4th and 7, where we forced the Niners to jump off sides, and then Wilson hit Curse for the touchdown. And then after that, the year after that, the miracle comeback where Curse caught the game winner against the Packers. Man, but... And then, I mean, ever since a couple of those plays, and then I remember his touchdown when he did the spin move, breaking those tackles in Super Bowl Forty Eight, which was pretty cool too, which was definitely one of my favorite plays that he had too, other than the other than the two big plays in the NFC Championship games. But after that, he did, his production started to drop after after those years where Russell Wilson's passer rating was the lowest when throwing the curse because Jermaine Curse near the end could not could not break pass coverage and dropped a lot of balls. So when he when production drops, usually for me, when production starts dropping, I'm ready to basically move on from that move on from that player. And when we traded him and then after obviously after 2016, Curse only had one touchdown, and Russell's passer rating was the lowest of Russell's career when was when passes every time Russell passed the Curse near the end was I mean near basically near the end. I'm not saying like like earlier. I'm just saying in the end, Wilson's passer rating the Curse was the lowest of Russell's career, all when targeting Curse. Even in that NFC Championship game, even though he made the big play at the end. Most of those interceptions were all tar were were Russell Wilson passes that were targeted to Jermaine Curse. So basically, after that, when his when his when his decline when he started when it when the production stopped, we traded Jermaine Curse to the New York Jets and a second round pick to get Sheldon Richardson, who Sheldon Richardson is now part of the Cleveland Browns, which that kind of did fleece us, especially in a couple of those drafts where we didn't have a second round pick so that definitely sucked at the end especially when we didn't keep Sheldon Richardson and we let Richardson go off to Minnesota like I said he's now at the Cleveland Browns and then Jermaine Curse, he did all right in his first year with the Jets but then he just dropped off again even when he had Sam Darnold as his quarterback in Sam Darnold's rookie year I mean he kind of he just disappeared for a while and you what you weren't really hearing much of Curse's name even with the Jets though too but It'll be different now with him going to Detroit. Let's just see how well he does with, you know, being reunited with Daryl Bevel and having Matt Stafford. And let's see what what kind of year he'll have with, with the Lions. But I don't expect much, though. To be honest, I don't expect much because the question is, will he even make the team? Will he even make the team is the big question in preseason. We don't even know if Chris will even make it to the Lions, to the Lions main squad. Sorry, I just got to catch my breath for a little bit but but yeah one of the points is nostalgia doesn't win games you got and talent does but I mean don't get me wrong I am grateful for what Chris did for the Seahawks and now he's basically on his third team and how much left does he have does how much left does he have left gas does he have left in the tank and can he get get it back with the Detroit Lions I mean especially I mean I know Bevel has experience with them but then again we all know Daryl Bevel was the one that costed us the Super Bowl back in 2014 
with that call at the one yard line. I know Pete took the blame for it, but we all really know. I will go to my grave blaming Daryl Bevel for that call for real though. But I mean, it is what it is, but we'll see what, we'll just see what happens. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments about Jermaine Curse going to the Detroit Lions, signing with the third team. And, uh, and then also other fans, give me your thoughts in the comments and like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Appreciate everyone that's came in. We're we passed the 460 subscriber mark, so hopefully try to keep that train rolling. So hopefully if I can get back up to the big one, to the big one, so I can go live again. You know, I want to be able to go live again, especially when football season comes. You know, I missed doing my red zone reactions last year until YouTube made the BS rule about needing a thousand subs to be able to go live. But anyway, thank you guys for coming in. And remember, if you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. And as always, go Seahawks.